Okay, what we're going to do in this video is we're actually going to graph something, uh, which maybe you've never done before. So what I want to do is uh, insert a graph page. So there's actually two different ways that we can do this. Um, one of them is to press doc and then go down to number four, so doc four, and then you can pick what you want to insert. Um, this is the way that I always do it because it's kind of the first way that I ever did it. Um, so I would pick graph. But if you don't want to do that, another option is to press control and then dock. And then you just pick what you want. You can see that I now have three tabs up here um, to move between them. If I press control and then to the left, you can see now I'm on 1.2 instead of 1.3. If I press control and to the left, I'm on 1.1. Another option is if you um, just use the trackpad to get a cursor, you can actually just click on the tab that you want. Uh, that's actually a little little harder, it's a little more work. Um, but anyway, we have this. So you can see uh, right here it's f1 of x. Uh, if you know what a function is, uh, that'll mean something to you. If you don't, that's just another, it's another way of saying y, basically. So y equals, and then we can uh, type something in. So 2x plus 3, let's say and I'm going to press enter, and it's going to graph for me. But notice the place where you enter graph, uh, the equation, disappeared as soon as I did that. Um, to get that back, and this is a, a really important thing, you press tab, and it shows up. But now I'm in F2, which is the second equation that it will graph, and if I want to see the original one, I have to arrow up, and I can now see it. So once I've graphed that, um, let me go ahead and graph a, a second thing. So I'm also going to graph uh, negative x, plus five, let's say. And you can see now I have two graphs. And if I arrow over them, so I'm using the trackpad, it just doesn't show up in the emulator. Arrow over them, it tells me uh, this is the graph of f1, which is two x plus three, it pops up there. And the graph of f2, which is negative x plus five. A very common thing to do is to find where these graphs intersect. So what I'm gonna do um, is I'm gonna press menu there's two ways to do this, one of which uh, is actually way better. So I could go down here to analyze the graph and look at this, uh, you see intersection? So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna pick intersection. To use the intersection tool, um, it's asking for a lower bound. That just means be to the left of the intersection point. So I'm to the left of that, I'm gonna click once. So I clicked on the trackpad. And now I need an upper bound, which means be to the right of the intersection point. So when I get to the right of it, you can see it's popping up there. Um, I'm going to click again, and there's the intersection point. So 0.6 repeating and 4.3 repeating. Um, so it's a little inconvenient because those are decimals, um, but it's not bad. I mean, and, and if we were allowed decimal answers, that would be the answer. Um, another thing that's really common to do, try to find where a graph hits the x-axis. Um, my recommendation for how to do that is um, the following. So I'm actually going to use the other method of finding how things intersect. And what I'm going to do is, uh, it's kind of weird, I'm going to go to, to 1.2, so I'm clicking here. And if you look, I have these equations, so I'm just going to graph them again. So I put, hit enter, I hit tab, and then arrow up one more time, hit enter. Um, now what I'm going to do is menu. This is how I always find intersections. Menu, and then option eight is geometry. Option one, is points and lines, and option three is intersection points. So it's menu eight, one, three. Uh, you get used to pressing that really quickly, you don't even think about it. And now all you do is you click on the two graphs. So here's a graph, and here's the other graph. And I get the intersection point. As long as this thing is up here, um, you're gonna keep trying to find intersection points. So once you're done finding the intersection points, what you wanna do is you wanna go over here and press escape on the keyboard. And we're out of there. So what I wanted to do though is I want to find where this graph intersects the x-axis. And the best way to do that, you won't believe me for a while, but the best way to do that is press tab and add the line zero. So that's actually the equation of the x-axis, so I'm gonna graph that. So now I have that, and I'm gonna use menu eight, one, three. And it takes me to this, and I'm gonna pick this graph, and then I'm gonna select this and you can see the equation, uh, rather the coordinates. Okay, so that gets us um, where this graph actually intersects the x-axis. It's a big deal finding those points. Um, okay, I'm gonna wrap up this video here and probably come back in another one and tell you a few more things.